Good day, everyone. I am Hansu Diusa, and together with me is Anada Cheska, Kanyaga Dayan, Rapato Christina Kate, and Hermitani Jala. Online learning is increasingly used during this pandemic. However, the impact of this change in students is not yet known. Today, we, the University of St. Pasal, BN3D, Group 3A, will extensively discuss our research study entitled The Level of Satisfaction of Nursing Students with Online Learning. The purpose of the study is to determine the level of satisfaction among the second-year nursing students with online learning as the educational system changed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. For the research design, a quantitative study was used with the participants from the University of St. Salva College, second-year nursing students. A close-ended questionnaire was used to gather information from the participants. For the participants, using Sloven's formula, the sample size is 166 research participants drawn from the complete population of 286 second-year nursing students. Stratified random sampling is used as a strategy in which the researchers first identify the population and stratify it by sex. Lastly, for the selection of participants using fishball technique or lottery sampling is used. For the research instrument, a research-made questionnaire was used in the study to gather relevant data from the second-year nursing students, which then included two parts of variables. The first part focused on the demographic profile of the second-year nursing students, which included sex, locality, and internet connectivity status. The second part focused on the level of satisfaction with online learning in terms of access to online materials, delivery of online learning, and experience with online learning settings. The Good and Skates validity test was used to test the survey questionnaire's validity and Cronbox Alpha were utilized to measure the reliability of the survey questionnaires. Now, let's move on to the results and discussion. For the demographic profile, in terms of sex, majority of the participants were female, which is a total of 129 or 78%. For the locality, the majority who participated in the study were living in urban communities rather than rural communities, which is a total of 146 or 88%. As for the internet connectivity status, majority of the participants belong to category 2B, which is a total of 91 or 55% having limited internet connectivity and with a laptop or desktop available at home. For the table one, for the level of satisfaction among nursing students as a whole, for the overall satisfaction among nursing students shows high satisfaction level. The level of satisfaction in terms of access to online learning materials and delivery of online learning show the high level of satisfaction and experience to online learning shows moderate level of satisfaction. And for the table two, the significant difference in level of satisfaction with online learning and in terms of sex. The significant difference between two groups in the level of satisfaction was tested using the man with me U test. With an alpha of 0.05, the level of satisfaction between group in terms of delivery of online learning shows that there is a significant difference while the access to online learning materials and experience with online learning settings shows no significant difference since it's greater than 0.05, which implies female satisfaction is higher than male in terms of delivery of online learning. Next. Table 3 shows a significant difference between the level of satisfaction among nursing students with online learning in terms of locality. The results implies that access to online learning materials, delivery of online learning, and experience with online learning has no significant differences when grouped according to locality. This means that the locality of the stu study participants does not alter nor affect their satisfaction with online learning. The table 4 shows that there is significant difference in the level of satisfaction among second-year nursing students with online learning and internet connectivity status in the access to online learning materials. Meanwhile, no significant difference in terms of delivery to online learning and experience with online learning setting. This implies that connectivity could hinder the accessibility of students to online learning materials. 
Table 5 presents the level of overall satisfaction with online learning between internet connectivity category 2A and category 2B. And the results show that there is no significant difference in terms of access to online learning materials, delivery of online learning, and experience with online learning setting. Hence, limited access to both internet connectivity and gadgets does not affect the nursing student's level of satisfaction with online learning. For Table 6, the level of overall satisfaction with online learning between internet connectivity category 2A and category 3, the result shows there is a significant difference in terms of access to online learning material and shows no significant difference in terms of delivery of online learning and experience with online learning setting. This implies that the level of satisfaction with online learning is altered in terms of accessibility to online learning materials due to limited internet connectivity. Next, the table seven shows the significant difference between the level of satisfaction of nursing students with online learning and groupings based off category 2B and 3. The results implies that there is a significant difference in mean access to online learning materials while the overall level of satisfaction with online learning between internet connectivity category 2B and 3 shows no significant differences in terms of delivery of online learning and experience with online learning. The results shows that access to online learning materials is affected by the internet connectivity status. Hence, this means that despite having stable or unstable internet connection, the student's access to online resources is affected due to their gadgets or computers. The researchers were drawn to a conclusion that the level of satisfaction of nursing students with online learning is high in the overall aspect. They are also satisfied with learning resources they are able to access online. The students are delighted with the delivery of online learning made by their respective clinical instructors. Also, they are pleased with their experience with online learning setup. For the hypothesis, there is a significant difference on the level of satisfaction of second-year nursing students with online learning when grouped according to sex and internet connectivity status. Thus, it is important that the institution should propose online face-to-face -face or both to satisfy the perception of students. For the recommendations, the researchers recommend that nursing administrators should consider the engagement of students in several tasks and activities as one of the major priorities. The results of the study will aid the nursing educators in improving the teaching methods they are currently implementing. For nursing students and students in other programs, the researchers recommend that they secure the important materials and equipment needed in their online classes for an uninterrupted experience. Future researchers may have a further analysis regarding the satisfaction of students with online learning, focusing on other points that may also relate to their satisfaction with online learning. That is all. Thank you.